Yo everybody, Pinstripe here. Welcome to some Hogs of War. This is the single player campaign, 25 missions that we're going to be working through. Kind of a new video series I'm going to be doing where I just talk about general strategies, tips and hints of different bits and pieces of the game. Because it's something I've wanted to do for a while, but never really gotten around to. Now this is the PC version, which you can actually get on Steam. Um, but there is one thing you should note before we start, that is um, the AI don't actually move. It does change um, in the PS1 version, but... Unfortunately, there's no movement from the AI, which, you know, doesn't really affect it that much because um, in the PlayStation version, um, the AI took quite a wee while to take their move. But um, if you've never played this game before, if you've no idea what's going on, basically this is a little bit like Worms, but um, at the time Hogs of War was sort of a while ahead of Worms because it took the 3D aspect before Worms did. So it's basically just pigs, worms, blowing things up. So currently, mission one, uh, very simple. You start off with the lowest level class, that is the grunts. You are, well, you basically have a bayonet, shotgun, and a grenades. Grenades doing the most amount of damage of 30. The grunts have 50 health, and uh, I advise to start off with by throwing a single grenade at the closest pig. And as you'll see, my second turn, I moved this pig down towards the um, the pig on the far side of the map where you were able to pick up more health. There's three um, different health packs across the map which all give you 50 health and uh, the box I just picked up was a bazooka which deals 40 damage. I will be going through each individual um, item as it comes up. Bazookas um, will be very common particularly if I upgrade to the next class but uh, yeah, currently fighting the Americans as well. With this campaign, I will sort of be speedrunning everything, so the videos I'm hoping to keep as short as possible, but really just packing them full of um, as much information as possible. Of course, TF2 is my main content, but I just want to do this as a little side thing um, that will pop up every now and then, because Hogs of War is a, a classic of mine, and I hold it very dear to my heart, and it's really something I just want to sit and talk about for those other Hogs of War fans out there, because um, yeah, there was a second one that was possibly going to be released back into 2008 but that was cancelled because infogram sort of went bankrupt and were eventually absorbed by atari now we're currently going to be doing the french campaign um because the french piggies are one of my favorites i'm going to be collecting a box that contains two sniper rifles which is pretty handy dealing a maximum of 40 damage each um obviously you only fire one and it's pretty handy because um, the grunts only start off with 50 health, collecting that health pack as well, so I have twice as much, so health really isn't an issue when it comes to their turn as well. The box on the far side of the map actually contains a TNT, which deals the most amount of damage of about 50, which would obviously kill a single grunt in one turn. So health, as I said, isn't a problem, so, you know, the fact that they're only throwing grenades isn't going to be an issue, and at the minute my hogs have all of the, uh, the advantages. Health, ammunition, just, you know, the largest amount of damage, different weapons. Um, strategic importance is always good as well. Where you place your hogs, do you have cover, all that sort of stuff. And going back to my very first turn, I probably should have um, hit this pig here um, with the grenade properly because it sort of bounced off him or I actually pressed the button to um, make the grenade explode a bit too early and it only dealt um, 26 damage instead of the overall 30. So I could have shot him then with the, uh, the shotgun, or sorry, the rifle, which... Um, deals 20 damage but I have noticed that on some turns um, the AI on the PC version is actually a little bit more accurate than um, than the PlayStation. I don't know why that is maybe it was just a thing that was gonna happen to make it a little bit tougher I don't know I honestly don't know they don't move but they are a little bit more accurate so maybe that's a thing going on there so yeah only one more pig to go pretty easy pretty simple level one obviously it's going to be the easiest and really just getting a grips with what's going on everything in between if you've no idea what hogs of war is i'll give a little bit of background before the uh, the mission ends um it is sort of a world war one setting and you've got uh, six different teams that you can choose from all of which um, are based around different countries it's voiced by rick mail who uh, unfortunately passed away not too long ago rest in peace to him because he is truly a childhood hero particularly with this game who does all the voiceovers it's really funny lots of pig puns and stuff and everything to do with piggies and just shooting stuff up so yeah we won that mission everything is all good and you actually get upgrade points to upgrade the pigs and different class routes you can take and you know that there's there was a lot of game mechanics going on with this game when it was brought out back in 2000 so plenty more to come i upgrade the pigs i actually upgrade one of them accidentally to a class i didn't want to choose just yet i upgraded one of them to engineer 
We uh, change Renard to a gunner that gives him a bazooka and pistol, which I'll go into more on the uh, the second mission and on I upgrade my other pig to an a engineer, as I said, but I actually meant to upgrade him to a gunner because I like to start off with two gunners. Two heavy weapon dudes who can just shoot everyone with um, bazookas. But either way, guys, that's going to wrap everything up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can uh, join me for the next one. And, of course, check out my others, and I will catch you guys later for the next one.